While we've all likely heard of the biggest and meanest sharks, you know the ones. The great white, the tiger shark. There are so many other species of pointy tooth vicious predators just swimming around in our oceans and occasionally in our rivers as well. It's high time we got better informed about some of these lesser known but still extremely bitey big fish. From a shark that uses its tail as a whip to smash its prey into easy to chew bite sized chunks, to a very aggressive shark that likes to swim up and down the major rivers of the United States, here are 20 most rare and deadly sharks you don't want to come across. Number 20 Basking Shark some of the ocean's gentle giants, basking sharks, are the second biggest sharks in the world. Only whale sharks are larger. The basking shark eats only plankton and catches this prey in a particularly unique and frankly weird looking way. Its gargantuan mouth can open up to one meter wide, and this gives the creature a funny, permanently surprised sort of expression. As well as being a monster sized 40 foot long and considerably hefty 10,000 pounds in weight, this supersized shark has some other unusual features. Their livers make up a colossal 25% of their body weight. What does a basking shark need such a big liver for exactly? Well, this shark's liver is stuffed full of a substance called squalene, which is what helps to keep the shark afloat. Weird! The special filtration system that a basking shark uses to catch its food is also pretty unique. It filters up to 4 million pounds of water an hour, capturing the tiny plankton and separating them from the water. It closes its massive mouth to pump the water out again through its gills. That's totally jawsome talent right there. Who knows? Perhaps this shark will give you nightmares. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Blue Shark with big, round, staring eyes and a permanently gormless expression, these sharks have a strange, almost unreal appearance, but that doesn't mean that the blue shark isn't a formidable predator nonetheless. These sharks often grow up to 9 or even 10 feet in length, but they do tend to eat smaller prey like fish and squids, often in deeper waters where they find an abundance of these sort of snacks. The blue shark is a migratory animal. They'll travel across entire oceans many times over the course of their lives in search of resources and for mating purposes. When they do find a mate, things can get a little bit aggressive. The male blue shark will often bite the female when they're doing that special cuddle, so the female blue sharks developed an extra thick skin in order to prevent themselves from being injured during all the rumpy pumpy. These sharks are found all over the world. In fact, they have the widest distribution of any species of shark, and although it's relatively rare, there are a few recorded incidents of them biting humans. But likely as not, this is usually an accident, and sharks in general will be just curiously tasting rather than planning to scoff the whole entire human without deciding if it's actually delicious or not. So that's wonderfully reassuring. You might just make it out alive with a little nibble missing. Number 18. The Great White Shark You're gonna need a bigger boat. The first sea monsters on our list, although bigger, are like harmless baby birds compared to the blood-chillingly dangerous great white shark. It was a great white shark that stalked the coastline in the famous 1975 movie Jaws. And this really is one massive and terrifying sea monster. The great white is a purpose-built killing machine with so many adaptations and features designed to make this shark one of the most efficient hunters on the planet. They have three rows of viciously sharp teeth, about 300 in total, and it seems that as many as half of all shark attacks on humans in the world could be attributed to the Great White. Although these sharks may not always be out to kill the humans that they nibble on, I don't know how you can tell if a shark has good intentions or not though, some scientists have suggested that the shark is merely curious and taking a sample taste of a human, but then it'll discard them when it realizes it's not really what it was looking for. That's not too comforting for the victim though. Though, the sheer size and enthusiasm of the bite means that great white snack sized nibbles are fatal, anyways. Eek! Number 17 
angel shark. The angel shark is an extremely rare species of shark which looks more like a stingray than it does a shark. It was previously found almost exclusively in the waters off the coast of the Canary Islands, but has recently found a new home in the coastal seas around Wales in the United Kingdom. The angel shark's body is broad and flat, allowing them to hang around on the ocean floor and bury themselves in the sand or the mud, just waiting for any unsuspecting prey to venture too close. These sharks are believed to have evolved quite differently from other species, and scientists think that the angel shark is pretty ancient and could hold the key to understanding some previously unknown aspects of the evolutionary process. Although these sharks were once so very common that they were actually used as fishing bait, they're now rare in our seas and, as such, have been given the unenviable classification of critically endangered. There's now a project underway in Wales to try and establish just how many of these creatures still exist and what their migration and breeding habits might be. Number 16. Thresher Shark there are lots of things that you need to worry about with sharks, but those things are usually at the front end and basically all contained inside of their mouths. The thresher shark, though, is pretty different. These things are equally dangerous at both ends. The thresher shark has a unique feature that makes it a deadly hunter, that being its tail. Unlike regular shark tails, the thresher has an especially long whip-like tail that it uses to kill its prey. It has an especially ruthless technique that involves swimming at high speed toward the prospective dinner, pulling up really fast and whipping their tail from behind them, over their heads and down onto their prey. They can whip their tails at up to 80 miles an hour, so that kind of gives you an idea just how very deadly the shark can be. The result of such force on a fish? Well, that thing makes a really big mess, stuff more or less explodes out of everywhere, swim bladders are going to rupture, and the spines will shatter and bits and pieces will float about all over the show. The thresher shark will then swim around in a casual manner, as if perusing a buffet table and sampling all of the different dishes. Number 15. Black Tip Shark Black tip sharks are extremely common medium-sized sharks that are named for their black-tipped fins. Duh! These sharks can be found living in coastal waters that are close to beaches, in coral reefs, and in estuaries and bays. As a migratory species, they do tend to hang around in groups and travel around together in groups of females or males. Despite the fact that there are so many of these sharks, they're at risk of overfishing and accidental capture because of the places that they choose to hang around in all the time. These sharks are actually fished commercially, and their meat is so popular in the markets of America, Mexico, and the Mediterranean, and the fins are sold in East Asia. In the United States and Mexico, the sharks are doubly in trouble because they're not only caught for commercial purposes, but they're also popular amongst the recreational fishing people who like to go shark fishing for fun. So sometimes it can be a tough life being a shark. It's not all about swimming around and biting things, you know. Number 14. Angular Rough Shark well, knock me down with a feather. This is a shark that I've never heard of, and that's despite the fact that we at the Fancy Banana absolutely love a good shark video. You know, we can't get enough of these creatures. The angular rough shark is an interestingly shaped shark which has strange knobs all over its eyes that are covered in dermal denticles. Those are miniature tooth-like scales that cover the skin. These guys are not the biggest, though. They do average out at about three and a half feet long, but have been recorded at lengths of almost up to five feet. The sharks are bottom feeders, and their preferred diet includes worms, crustaceans, and mollusks. These sharks don't pose any kind of threat to humans whatsoever, so stop being such scaredy pants. This one won't give you nightmares. Number 13. Short Fin Mako Shark the large predatory short fin mako shark grows to around 12 feet in length and can weigh up to 1,200 pounds. These are the fastest sharks in the ocean and can clock speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. As well as the super speed of the shark, it also is a bit of an athlete in general. The short fin mako shark can often be observed taking giant leaps out of the water when they're hunting. And they also have a special ability called counter current exchanger, which basically means that they can maintain a body temperature that's higher than the water 
water that surrounds them. This skill allows them a big advantage when hunting in chillier waters as they can move around with more speed and intelligence. Although they don't generally present a whole lot of risk to humans, there are a few recorded incidents where these sharks have bitten and killed people. Usually though, it's not a case of the mako being especially hungry for human flesh, but rather a case of mistaken identity or even an accidental eating. The short fin mako shark really prefers a diet of bony fish, and they're also partial to squids, small marine mammals, and sea turtles, so don't go freaking out too much about them. Number 12. Horn Shark Horn sharks are also known as California horn sharks, and they have short and rather blunt heads with large fin spines, in particular the ones that give them their names. They're two extremely prominent dorsal fin spines. They can be found in subtropical waters from central California to Ecuador and Peru. The nocturnal horn shark is also a slow and solitary kind of creature, preferring to spend its nights meandering along the bottom of the ocean in search of prey. They live in the kelp beds, sand flats, and deep crevices of the seabed, and feed on small fishes and invertebrates like crabs, sea urchins, and mollusks. During the day, they do tend to hide out in the same resting place, which is usually a nice gloomy cave, cavern, or crevice. Although they're kind of weird to look at, and I guess that might give you nightmares if you're of an especially nervous disposition, horn sharks are not really a terrible menace to humans. If you poke them, they might bite your finger. But frankly, if you poke me, I might do the same thing. Otherwise, the biggest risk is posed by these particular sharks being their spines and their fins, as they can cause a nasty puncture wound. Wound, so the best advice, just avoid prodding or indeed absent-mindedly stepping on a horn shark, and then you'll probably be just fine. Number 11. Bamboo Shark Another slow-moving bottom dweller, the bamboo shark, is a pretty rare creature. They're also known as the long-tail carpet shark. And guess what? They have really long tails. Ha! <laughs> thrilling stuff, I know. Although they're a very small species of shark, an adult will generally grow to a maximum of about 37 inches. Their tails are still considerably longer than their stubby little bodies, and they're so diminutive in stature that these little sharks are a popular choice amongst the aquarium enthusiasts of the world. There are very few species of shark that stay small enough to live in domestic aquariums, but the bamboo shark is considered the perfect variety amongst those in the know. But they are kind of rare in the wild, and so there's actually a rather limited amount of information on their habits, and even their conservation status is a bit unclear because there simply isn't enough data to know for sure. Number 10. The Frilled Shark the so-called living fossil is a scary, well, actually downright terrifying, ancient species of shark that, although rare, is still out there menacing people from time to time with its intensely intimidating appearance and sharkish habits. Although there are apparently a few of these sharks still out there, sightings are so incredibly rare that one's only been captured alive, in living memory anyway, on one occasion. This particular specimen was pulled from the water near Lake's entrance in Victoria in Australia by a group of rather surprised fishermen. It was such an unusual occurrence that the story made the headlines and captured imaginations all over the world. This super strange shark dates back to at least 80 million years ago, so this thing has been kicking around in our waters for so long, it's no wonder that it's known as a fossil. The name Frilled Shark is on the account of this big old fish's six pairs of frilly gills. It looks a bit like it's sporting some kind of Elizabethan ruff, but with a toothier edge than most of these stuffy old portraits. Number 9. Goblin Shark the deep-sea-dwelling goblin shark is like a nightmare combination of frightening alien face and squashed dinosaur shark. It's actually pretty horrific, but I shouldn't judge something on its appearance, I know. That's not really fair. So are these guys as scary as they look? Well, let's find out. With a long snout on the top and a set of very sharp teeth on the bottom, this shark seems equipped enough to do some predatory stuff. It has a weird technique for catching its prey. The goblin shark can eject its jaws and 
send them out in a dangerous snapping motion to grab the passing prey and simply reel its jaws back in and scoff the catch up. Ooh, spooky. This long-nosed shark is actually, and mercifully, much, much more lazy than many other sharks. Its sluggish behavior means that it's not likely to expend a whole lot of energy in a high-speed pursuit, and given one look at this freaky fish, no doubt you'd be able to outswim it on fear alone. Whew, I'm glad that one's finished. These guys give me the creeps. Number 8. The Hammerhead Shark the truly weird and wonderful shape of the unique hammerhead shark may seem like something straight from the pages of a fantasy novel, but these awesome creatures are adapted to find food in the most efficient and highly specialized way that you could imagine. That's right, their massive old mallet-shaped noggin is actually a big food scanner. The hammerhead shark is not only able to see a broader area on the account of their extremely wide-set eyes, but their actual head is essentially a food detector. Inside that odd-shaped bonce is a whole collection of sensory organs, which is called the Ampulla of Lorenzini. This is a set of clever stuff that can detect the electrical fields that are created by prey animals. It's especially well attuned to the frequency of its favorite dinner, being the stingray. In all of the recordings of such things, there have only ever been 17 unprovoked attacks by hammerheads on humans and zero fatalities. These sharks really are somewhat fixated on hunting and eating stingrays and are not in the least bit interested in eating you. No offense, though. Number 7. Requiem Shark the Requiem Shark actually includes several different species under its title. That includes the black tip shark that we saw earlier on, and also a whole gaggle of other toothsome big fish like the gray reef shark, the silver tip reef shark, the white tip reef shark, and the sickle fin shark, along with the scalloped hammerhead. As well as incorporating the full rainbow of tip colorings, these sharks are grouped together in this way on the account of their general habitat. They're sometimes also known as Red Sea Requiem Sharks, but in general, their preferred habitats are warmer seas. Often also included in this list is the tiger shark and the bull shark, amongst others. These two alone give the requiem sharks the rather unsavory title of being the group most likely to be involved in attacks on humans. They're savage and efficient hunters and are amongst some of the most well-adapted sea creatures when it comes down to predatory skills. These are the top of the food chain, and even if they don't really like the taste of your human meat, they'll probably take more than a tiny taste in order to decide that you're not the fish they they were looking for. Then they'll likely just spit out the chewed up remains of your decidedly untasty corpse. So you should probably watch where you go poking your toes or any other delicate appendages for that matter. Number 6. Bull Shark the bull shark is also known as the Zambezi shark because this guy can often be found swimming about and eating people in rivers. You know, like the Zambezi River. What a fun one! As if it wasn't sharky enough in all of the oceans, these ones have also decided that they love to live in warm shallow waters and not only along coasts, but also in freshwater rivers and estuaries. Yes, the bull shark is not fussy about its habitat. It likes to swim a long way, so you never know quite where it might pop up next. Oh, and they're also notoriously aggressive. These sharks have been known to swim all the way up the Mississippi River as far as Alton, Illinois, which is 700 miles from the ocean. This news is not exactly reassuring when you find out that it's the bull shark and not the great white, which are responsible for almost all nearshore shark attacks. They're large and solid sharks with one of the most fierce bite forces amongst any kind of fish, and the scariest thing about this species of shark is that they can be found just about anywhere, from the Ohio River to the Ganges, from Sydney Harbor to the Jersey Shore. I'm seriously reconsidering that canoeing vacation now, aren't you? Number 5. Mega Mouth Shark if you were under the misguided belief that all the sharks were essentially the same kind of big mouth nightmares, well then I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but you're quite, quite wrong, my friend. There's a particular species of shark that's so revoltingly terrifying in the facial hole department that you may never sleep again now that you've seen it. Oh, sorry about that. Although this monstrous sea creature is all things terrifying, it's also mercifully rare. In fact, this hideous beastie is actually only being spotted less than 100 times ever. 
since it was first discovered anyways. These megamouth sharks live in deep waters, which is one of the reasons that we human scaredy cats rarely come into contact with them. But they do occasionally get themselves caught up with fishing gear, like this one that was caught by a group of fishermen who were off doing a few things off the coast of a wheezy port in Japan's Mia Prefecture, in the middle of the area of the mainland. Luckily for us, the fishermen took some video of their crazy catch, so we can all enjoy more accurate and vivid nightmares together. They reckon that the massive creature was around 16 and a half feet long and weighed about a ton. That's a sizable bad dream right there, everyone. Number 4. Greenland Shark Slow-moving Greenland sharks are rarely captured on film. They prefer the cold, deep waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic regions, so they don't land in people's boats like the more infamous sharks out there in warmer waters. However, these big guys are truly extraordinary. First of all, the Greenland shark is absolutely massive. These extraordinary creatures can reach lengths of up to 24 feet and can weigh as much as 3,100 pounds. These sizes are bigger than any of the other sharks that we've encountered so far, even the biggest of great whites. An apex predator, the Greenland shark will mostly eat fish, but has been known to indulge in the odd seal, moose, or even a polar bear. Perhaps one of the most incredible things about this shark is how long that they can actually live. They have the longest lifespan of any vertebrate and can live for between 300 and 500 years. A study of this species in 2016 discovered a shark that had been born between 1504 and 1744, which is just mind-blowing. A shark that may have been born when Michelangelo was painting the Sistine Chapel is still alive and swimming today? No wonder these sharks move so slowly. They have all the time in the world. Number 3. Nurse Shark Found on both the east and the west coasts of the United States, the nurse shark is amongst the most docile of all shark species. These flat-headed, smooth-bodied sharks have a very long tail and barbells, those sort of sensory whiskers that hang down from their chins, and just like a catfish would have. These nocturnal hunters are basically really opportunistic carnivores and are not in any way fussy about what kind of creature comes their way, because it all looks like food to them. Their hunting style is kind of weird weird though, they're apt to skulk along the bottom of the sea, barbells dangling to detect anything moving in the water. And when they do find something to eat, they cup their mouth over the area and kind of vacuum it up. Not as scary or even dramatic as some other species of shark, and definitely a whole lot less gory in the old body parts department, but it is effective nonetheless. These sharks spend most of their lives on the seabed rummaging around in the shallow warm waters on reefs and coastal shelves at about 50 feet deep or less. They generally hang about in groups of numbers anywhere between 2 and 40, and mostly these sharks aren't actually considered at risk, for the moment anyway. But you know that everything in our seas is ultimately at risk as the composition of our oceans continues to change and the temperatures shift. That's probably something that should give you legitimate nightmares. Not all of these old soppy sharks. Number 2. Sand Tiger Shark The sand tiger shark may look mean, but it's really a big pussy cat. Well, actually, it's still a shark, but it's pretty docile and not really considered to be a threat to humans. There are only a couple of recorded cases where a sand tiger shark has attacked a person despite their super scary set of teeth and sinister eyes. Also, and this is rather a relief, the sand tiger shark is in no way related to the much more scary and much bitier tiger shark. I mean, apart from also being sharks and having a lot of teeth and scary eyes and whatnot, no, they do not share a temperament or a taste for nibbling on human limbs, and for that we can all indeed be most grateful. But that's how it goes, isn't it? We should be less quick to judge things based on appearances. Although the jagged teeth of the sand tiger shark might give it the look of a dangerous beast, their jaws are not actually large enough to cause a human fatality. So much like any other shark really, if they do bite you, it's only because they've mistaken you for something much more tasty, like a fish or a crustacean, and frankly they're not going to attempt to finish you off. That would be far too much work for something very undelicious indeed. Number 1. Helicoprion 
The scientists who have been trying to solve the puzzle of the bizarre creature known as the Helicoprion have been beavering away, only to discover some of the pieces were missing from the box and they might not ever be able to see the whole picture. As frustrating as that might seem, it has made for some extremely creative and more interesting interpretations based on the fragments of fossils that have been unearthed from this creature. The name Helicoprion means spiral saw, and that's the main chunk of fossil that they are working with. Paleontologists eventually deduced that the circular saw-like thing that they had discovered was more than likely positioned in the mouth of this weird sea creature. They decided that it was what they called a whorl-toothed ratfish, or a sort of shark. It's believed that this mystery creature first appeared in the oceans of Earth about 280 million years ago and hung around a while before finally going extinct sometime in the early Triassic period. Since no full-size complete skeletal fossils have ever been found, the idea of how this creature may have looked are all from the best informed imaginations. Do you have any ideas of where else this weird spiral saw might have been found and what purpose it served? Let us know your ideas in the comments down below. Well, what a lot of new and terrifying information about all the different varieties of shark that might mistake my thigh for a tasty sea mammal. Who knew there were so many? What did you think of all these toothsome ocean dwellers? Will any of them be giving you nightmares? As always, let me know all of your awesome thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen. And I'll see you next time.